When you engage people in conversation about the problems we see in our country, how often are you asked, well, what's your solution? Many find the answer somewhat elusive. In fact, some people freeze up when they're asked this question. They don't know the answer, yet it's very simple. But you have to be able to explain it so they understand that it is really the solution. It's very important that you know the answer if you're engaged in educating people as to the problem. If you do not have a solution, you might as well stop talking. Thinking people want solutions. If the issue is something of a general nature, lead them back to the founding documents, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and Bill of Rights. These usually have the answer for most issues. They are very fundamental and straightforward in what we should or should not be doing. However, let's start with something that is rather obvious. If a person or group of people have the right information, they usually will make the right decisions. If they have the wrong information, they'll make bad choices, or if they have no information at all. Therefore, if the people are making the wrong decision at the polls, they obviously do not have enough of the right information. So it has to change. Obviously, they have to have the right information, which means they need to be educated better. Now, How is that going to happen? Well, someone has to make it happen. This also is obvious because most people are unaware that they lack enough of the right information to begin with. So, someone has to make it happen and across a wide swath of the people. It also means that this information or education needs to be coordinated because helter-skelter hidden misinformation will not produce the results that a coordinated, concerted education will produce. The education must be channeled along the lines of what are the most important things people need to know in order to solve the problems besetting our country, and not get sidetracked off into meaningless or extraneous issues that in the long run will not mean a thing. In addition, the education must take place nationally if we're going to solve the nation's problems, not something local here and there, all of them being different. You might be able to solve local problems, but not the problems besetting the country as a whole. Another aspect of this education is organizing to get involved in action programs, because education without action leads to frustration. These action programs also have to be national in scope and coordinated in order to give the effort a cohesive movement towards specific goals. In other words, we cannot win if we are all doing different things. This dissipates our strength and we will lose. Now you've heard of the saying, divide and conquer. We cannot allow our forces to be divided. It doesn't matter whether the division is done by our enemies or ourselves, the net result is the same, we will lose. We have to work on the same things at the same time all across the country. So, what is the solution? We need to understand that this, what the solution is so that we can relate it to others in a manner they can appreciate. The solution is getting enough people educating on the most important things at the same time and in turn build a working organization large enough to be effective regardless of all the roadblocks put in our way. And someone has to take the lead. Education is the solution because the people are ignorant on the basic principles of Americanism on which this country was founded. If they do not understand this, they cannot understand what we are supposed to be and what made this country the greatest on earth. It also includes responsibility. Without this, all knowledge is useless since people will do nothing to fulfill their responsibility. People make good decisions based on the correct knowledge. Bad information leads to bad decisions in our personal lives and at the ballot box. Also, good information on the issues of the day is important. One needs to know who they can trust to give them the right information on current events. The best place is the newamerican.com. We need to get people signing up for the top daily headlines at this website, and they will come to rely on the information and news they publish. People can simply go to that website and sign up there on the homepage, thenewamerican.com all one word, lowercase, thenewamerican.com. A very important aspect of understanding just what is going on is the knowledge that what we fight is a conspiracy. This is always the case, and our country's founders understood this. This fact has been purged from our history book. Nothing happens in politics unless someone planned for it to happen. 
It's that simple. Yet the mass media and others do all they can to stop people of exploring any idea of a conspiracy, even certain conservative pundits. Without understanding the conspiracy, one cannot understand how the side of righteousness keeps losing. They do not understand that the conspiracy has penetrated even their own ranks and leadership. For one thing, this is why there seems to be no solutions made when Republicans are in power and not the Democrats. Getting back to letting people know what the solution is, the main thing is to show them that organization is paramount. Using that organization to educate the American people and at the same time to activate that organization into action programs is the solution. The solution will not take place until that organization is large enough and has more influence. Therefore, the goal must always be to build the organization, in other words, the John Birch Society. We have been successful in slowing down the conspiracy and its agenda, even though it may not appear to be that way at any given time. We've exerted a considerable amount of influence when we concentrate all of our forces at a single point and have the time and finances to rally enough Americans to apply pressure on Congress. One of these areas where we, we, where we have been successful is getting millions of people to understand that this is a republic and what that means. Also lowering the support of the United Nations amongst Americans getting people to understand the need for our local police to remain under local citizen control, not federal or UN control, stopping most of the free trade agreements that are in reality building globalism versus American independence. We obviously need to do more work on this point, and so forth. The solution is building the organization, making it large enough to not only create influence, but create enough understanding among the American people in order to win. We have to make this solution of building the movement obvious to those we are trying to get involved. With the primary goal of once again interjecting the principles on which this great country was founded, getting people to appreciate these principles and fighting for them. If the person you are talking to says that he does not see the John Birch Society in action, tell him that is not the way we work. We do not make noise about ourselves. We simply go about our business informing, leading, and activating people. Others spend most of their time and money telling others how great they are so they can raise more money. We are effective because we spend our time educating and activating people such as you. Isn't it time to get involved in an organization that means business, that has a 60-year track record of being right even when most people do not agree with us until after the fact? As part of your work with others, why not ask them where we've been wrong? Include these thoughts within your conversations with those you're trying to involve and activate to get them to understand that it takes more people to get involved before we can win. In a nutshell, this is the solution to all of America's problems.